Okay, so what I want to show you now is a cool little trick that we can do so that we can draw rectangles at specific locations on the screen. So what we can do is when we call draw rectangle, we can give it the turtle, but we can also give it the x position and the y position that we want it to go to. Okay, so that means up here, if I if I set them as arguments in the function call, that means I also need to define them as parameters in the function definition. Um, so I need to receive those pieces of data here and here. So what do I want to do with those pieces of data? Well, what I want to do is I want the turtle to go to that x and y and draw the rectangle at that x and y. So how can I do that? Well, I could do a turtle dot go to and I can go to the X and Y. Okay. And so let's go ahead and see if that works. And here, let's just put in values. Let's go to 100, 100. So if this is the center of the screen, it's going to go to 100. And then it's going to go up 100. And it's going to draw the rectangle in the upper right quadrant. So let's go ahead and run that and see if it actually works. There we go. So it does work, right? Except we have this line connecting the uh, square with the center of the screen so to get rid of that we can use our pen up so before our go to we're going to do a t dot pen up and then when we get to the go to we're going to do a p t dot pen down or else he's going to be drawing in the air and we won't be able to see it right. so let's run it now and now it does what we want it to do right okay so what if I wanted to fill the color in? Okay. Well, we uh, learned how to do that. So uh, first thing we need to do is come over here into main and say t.color. Okay. Uh, and remember, the first one is the pen color, and the second argument is the fill color. So uh, let's see. What if I want it to be, um, let's say, green on the pen color? And I want it to be red on the fill color. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if that works. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. I didn't uh, do begin fill and end fill. So right over here, when I draw my shape, right before drawing my shape, I need to do t dot begin fill. And then after finishing drawing my shape, I need to do t dot end fill right, to make sure it fills in the shape. Okay, there we go. So we got this uh, green and red box on the screen. And what if I want my pen color and my pen size to also be a little bit bigger? So maybe I could do a three there just to make it look a little nicer. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's see, do we have a dark green? Yeah, they have a dark green. Great. Okay, so um, oh, do we have a dark red also? Yeah, they have a dark red. Cool. Okay, so we have our shape on the screen. And what if I said that I wanted it to create a rectangle at a random location on the screen? Right? Not at 100, 100, but a random location. So what we can do, of course, is do random.rand range. And here we wouldn't want to do 0 to 100, right? Because that would just put the x, like if this is our screen here it would give a random number from the center of the screen to 100. Right? So it would be a range from here, well, here to here. We want the random range on the x to be from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And so the left side of the screen, if you remember, is negative 320 or so. The center is 0, and then the right side is positive 320. So for the lower end, I'm going to do three, negative 320. For the upper end, I'm going to do positive 320. And you can see our random is underlined red, which means I need to import it. So let's do import random. There we go. And if we copy that and we paste it over here, and we do the same thing, negative 320 and positive 320 for the y, then we should get a circle, a square, in a random location. Right? Okay, there we go. And we run it once. I'm going to run it again. There we go. Different location. I run it again. And we get a different location. Right? Okay. 
So sounds good. Um, okay, so now <clears throat> what about if I wanted it also to have a random size, right? Well, what could I do? I could go ahead and when I call, I could give it a random number. So I can give it a random number from let's say 10 to 100. Okay. Now we're going to use this last argument as the size. So now we're giving it four arguments. Well, first we're giving it the turtle, then we're giving it the x position, then the y position, and lastly we're going to give it how big we want it. Okay. So since we're giving it four arguments here, um, that means when we uh, go to define draw rectangle, we also need to receive four, uh, the four arguments in four parameters. So this one I'm going to call it uh, side because it's how long we want it to be. And if we look in our code, where should we put this side variable that's going to be equal to this random number from 10 to 100? Okay. Well, we would want to put it right here because this is how uh, much the turtle is going to move forward when it goes to draw the rectangle. So if we put it right there and we run it, then we get a random location for the rectangle and we also get a random size for the rectangle. Ooh, that's pretty small. Okay, good. So a bigger one there. Uh, same sized one there, more or less. Let's see if we can get a big one. Oh, they're all kind of the same size. Let's see. Okay, so they're all kind of the same size. And so it's making me wonder if I use the right random on the side. And I'm going to come here, and yeah, it looks like I used the right, right random from 10 to 100. But I guess a good way to check this, instead of continuing to press the Run button to see if it's actually working, is that we can draw many rectangles. Okay, So what we can do to do that is we can go ahead and copy this function definition multiple times. That's one way to do it. This would draw, like I guess, eight rectangles with random size and random location around the screen. But a better way to do it, a more efficient way to do it, would be to drop it into a for loop. Okay. For i in range 100, indent the function call, and now let's run that. Oh, right, so we got a big one. Then we got a medium one. We got another medium one, medium one. So this is actually working, right? We got different size rectangles um, at different locations all around the screen. And now it looks like the turtle is moving a little slow, right? It's going to take forever to draw these 100 rectangles. So what we can do is we can adjust one of the turtle's attributes, and we could say turtle dot uh, speed. And now the range is from 0 to 10. Okay, So I could put 10 in here, and I could run it. And I think it should go a little faster. All right, so it goes a little bit faster. And it's still going to take a while to get the 100 uh, rectangles on the screen. So maybe I should lower that and not do 100. And maybe I should do 20. That way, the program will eventually end. And so I guess the challenge exercise here would be to do the same thing to your rectangle, I mean, to your triangles function, and draw 20 triangles onto the screen using a uh, random location and a random size.